And welcome back to Farm Bureau's Voices of Agriculture. You know, we are blessed here in Tennessee to have such strong FFA and 4-H programs, and recently thousands of teenagers from across the state put on those famous blue jackets and headed to their annual meeting in the Great Smoky Mountains. And our Melissa Burniston was there in Gatlinburg and has highlights from the 83rd Tennessee FFA Convention. Well, of course this year at convention everything was set up differently and um, a lot of new changes happened, but I thought that it was amazing. The laser show, all the new music, everything that was going on, it was just so much fun and I think that it really pumped people up and has um, left the members with inspiration to go back and share with their home chapters. And the 83rd State FFA Convention was a hit with a record more than 3,000 FFA members, advisors and guests in attendance in Gatlinburg. This convention is full of leadership workshops, jam-packed sessions filled with keynote speakers, award presentations and much more. It's also where most of the state winners are decided in the career development events. Um, it was really fun. I was just glad I got to like go on stage and do the creed because I really enjoyed it. I like public speaking a lot. Whenever they called my name when I won it was just I was I was in awe basically because it was it was just amazing and a great feeling whenever it happens. This has been just an awesome opportunity to compete in prepared public speaking and this has been one of the best conventions I've ever had. So I was really, really nervous because I know I had tough competition, but when I was up on stage, I was just praying that it was me. I'm so excited. I love, I love competing. Job interview is my favorite competition and I was really, really excited to move on. It was just pure amazement when I really want when I actually won the award. This is something I've been dreaming about for years and it was just mind boggling that I actually had done it, that I had come this far with boar goats and that I had won something on the state level. My, my heart was pounding and I just, it really excited me that they chose me to be the star in placement. I, I didn't really, I didn't know if I was going to be the one chosen or not because there they, they were two other great operations with the, up there with me also. Well, we milked 220 Holstein cattle we raise about 245 heifers. We do about 150 acres of corn and tons of hay. It's a real busy lifestyle and you've got to love it. If, you, if you're going to get into it, I mean, that's one thing you, you just got to love it. I felt really good. It felt awesome after all the years of hard work. It seemed like it finally paid off in the end. And it, was, it just felt like a very prestigious award towards my farming program. Uh, I row crop about 450 acres of corn and soybeans, about 60 acres of wheat that I cut for hay to sell to the public. I cut about another 120 acres of fescue and mixed grass hay, and also I rolled about 40 acres for the public. And one highlight of the convention was hearing FFA's National Southern Region Vice President and Tennessee native James Flatt give a keynote address during one of the sessions. If we can't finish strong in life, then you know what are we doing? We're not accomplishing those goals, and that's one of those messages that, messages that I want to get wanted to get across to FFA members that you know it doesn't matter how the race was run, how many bumps in the road there were, as long as we can sprint across that finish line and hold our heads high, that's what's important. Is in order to finish a race, we have to finish it strong. Now the theme for the convention this year was infinite potential and students discovered that the sky was the limit with their success in the career development events and 24 candidates for state office definitely found theirs as they not only went through a series of interviews and testing but also worked tirelessly behind the scenes to make convention a resounding success. In the end, only eight could be announced as the 2011-2012 State FFA Officer Team and for the second time in Tennessee FFA history, an all-girls team was announced. Your 2010-2011 State FFA President is Peyton Graham from the Mumford Chapter. It was amazing. Honestly, I was sitting there thinking to myself, well, now I'm either president or I'm not a state officer. And this is honestly something that all of us have dreamed of forever. And just to be able to serve on this team with these girls is going to be so amazing. And just hearing my name called out, that's something that I've dreamed about since I was a sophomore because I wasn't here freshman year. So it was definitely um, a surreal feeling. 
Three years ago, I didn't know where I would be. I was scared to death coming into Mumford High School. I had no idea where my place was going to be, but FFA gives us the opportunity to have a home outside of home, and it truly does impact our members, and I'm just so thankful that I can be part of this organization. Serving as the 2010-2011 East Tennessee Vice President is Courtney Walker from the Cumberland Gap Chapter. It was beyond amazing. One of the things that's cool about me being the East Tennessee Vice President is my brother was the East Tennessee Vice President the year before. So it's the first time in FFA history that a brother and sister have been in the same position two years in a row. So the feeling of him hugging me before I went on stage and just knowing that that family pride before I meet my new family, it's just amazing. It, the words can't describe. Some goals I have personally is the impact one life. People say they want to impact large numbers, but I know of 365 days of service, if I impact one life, then it'll be a good year. Your 2010-2011 Middle Tennessee Vice President is Haley Cobb from the Lincoln County Chapter. Um, surreal for a little bit. I paused and I had to make sure that they said my name and then as it sunk in all the excitement like hit me on like a truck hitting me and I ran down the aisle, lost my shoes, almost ran into a plant, skid to a stop, ran up there and it, it still hasn't really sunk in that it really is true. Well obviously there's a lot of goals that we need to get to. Uh, first off is all the chapter visits. We need to touch as many lives as possible. We really need to make sure that we stay together as a team and perform effectively because we're the ones that we're, that we're leading the state and it's time for us to get ready and gear up for it. Could and should. Your 2010-2011 West Tennessee State Vice President is Alyssa Fee from the Liberty Tech Chapter. You know, I can say I set this as a goal for myself four years ago, but it really goes back farther than that. I mean, it started really heavily when I was a freshman, but just hearing my name called was just such an amazing experience. Last year I was named the star in Ag Placement and I thought that was just the epitome of success. I thought I'd done it all and then this year I just, I was so nervous before and during the whole process and it was just really relieving to hear my name in the first place. But, you know, obviously we want to continue to be that servant leader to the, all the members across the state. You know, having almost 13,500 members, we're constantly growing and we want to keep that up. But also another good thing for us to be is, you know, some people are probably going to have the image that they're an all-girl team. <laughs> they're going to think we're going to fight or something. But we all really get along really well. All the candidates this year did. And as we go on through the year, we're going to set many goals. We've all got a lot of great ideas. And we're just going to come together and put them together the best that we can. To make the difference that we want to see in the world. Well, a great group of young people. And you can see more from the FFA convention on our website at tnfarmbureau.org. And our thanks to Melissa Berniston for that report.